Good morning, this is Dan with Dan's Everything Outdoors and Blade and I are getting ready to head out onto the Appalachian Trail this morning. We're going to be driving down to near Waynesboro to Rockfish Gap and there meet up with the team and then start our hike for the section hike of the Shenandoah National Park. Look who's driving. <laughs> Should I be concerned? So everybody's in a truck with us but just it's just me and Blade going on this hike. The rest of them are, are going to go on a hike through a tunnel today. What's it called? Well, the like Crozet walk. Blue Ridge <laughs> Tunnel. Okay. The Crozet Blue Ridge Tunnel. <laughs> Good luck. Is Jeannie and Aunt Prissy not <laughs> going with us? Nope. <laughs> Moral support, though. You got it all? Well, same thing except for the shirt. Okay, everybody ready? Here we all are. Getting ready to enter the Shenandoah National Park. Going over the noisy road. Okay, and you know what? Never again. That's cool. Look at the rocks. <laughs> yeah. Just going ambulance. Alright, you guys ready? Oh, ready loaded up? Yeah. Promise Neverland. Promise Neverland. Oh my gosh, that's the Gracefield Farm. Wait, that is? You're right, that is. What, what'd you do, Blade? You go around? Watch out, there's a poison ivy vine on there. There he goes. Did you take your? I mean, it's so wet. Yeah, as much as you want. And I was like, this is like really steep. Some of these. We're all packed up. I slept on that hill right over there. It wasn't very fun setting up, but I slept really good in my hammock. And Blade slept right here. He had one of the best spots. Still on a lean, a little bit of lean there. And we got all packed up. Drying out my bandana. Getting ready to hit the road. So we had a lot of people here last night. And uh, it looks like everybody's starting to pack up and head out. So today's a, how far is the hike today? 13 miles. 13 miles today. With only one stop for water at the very end. Rain is just coming in. Everybody's getting their, donning their ponchos and getting their packs covered up. We're still walking in the rain. We still got another three or four miles to go. So we may be setting up camp in the rain tonight. That's what I got so far, just enough to cover my stuff. And I'll put my hammock up after we get the crew gear, how the crew gear set up in cooking. There's Blade over here. Man, you got a really good looking one. You look better than mine. Feet hurt. Oh, I pinched my uh, Let's see what Tim's got. Tim, you got the pot? No. Okay. I have I have the stirrings. Alright. Don's probably got it. <laughs> it's hard to walk on these rocks. Especially your feet hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. That is nice. This is the 
our first view of the trip. <laughs> yeah, I can't walk See, backwards. For me to go off here. Yeah. Be oh, careful, God. please. Well, we got, do we have all the troop here? I'll get a picture of you. One, two, four. Here we go. Like, oh yeah, I have to define to the top of something. That's why. Fun spot, bald spot. Huh? This is the mountains bald spot. Yeah. Black rocks. Black Just rocks. like over there, Elijah. Yeah, what we said. Well, today sure is a better day than yesterday. Yesterday it just poured and rained all day long. And today is really nice. Still hot, still warming up. But yesterday morning was very hot before it started raining, which was very relieving because you could cool down a little bit and it gave us some extra energy. But it just was soggy mess. Everything was wet until we went to bed. But I slept pretty decent. Uh, under the tarp and in the hammock. But today's a beautiful day. So we're, I think, just only about five miles into a 14 mile hike today, and we're grabbing a bite to eat at um, this river overlook. It's nice. It's hot. Trying to make it to Ivy Springs, we got another three and a half miles. I'm gonna check this view out. All right, it's pretty neat. Check out that view. Long ways down. Signs of water. That's it, I don't know. Ivy Springs. Nice little. Oh no! How's your feet doing? I'm putting the things in new place. Yeah. I just put one on my foot too. Uh -huh. How do you feel? Do you feel like somebody's been pounding on the bottom of your feet? Yeah. Okay. Me too. How you doing, Frank? Ready to go again. <laughs> I know you're always ready to 3. go. 3.8 miles. Can we do it? <laughs> Piece of cake for you. No, it's not. <laughs> Drink of water. You just go up the hill. I like the breeze better than the view. morning Tuesday morning this is day four I think uh, rained again last night everybody got all tucked away in their hammocks and tents they put their clothes out on the line maybe thinking they could get it dried out for the night and surprisingly most people slept right through the thunder and rain a lot of the clothes got wet but on um, this is a good day we're actually heading down right now uh, one of our uh, organizers of this actually has some trail magic for us, so some breakfast this morning. So this is the first group going down um, that was ready to leave camp, and they're all looking forward to getting some breakfast. Simmons Gap. Yeah. Is that where we're supposed to go? Uh -huh. yes, right Alright, road crossing. Our food's here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Woo!
Yeah, I'm just gonna relax here just a couple more minutes before we hit the trail, which is only six miles, but mostly uphill. No water stops. And we're peeking out on this hill here. Forgot what the name of it's called. Even though we literally just come down, yeah, like a mile. Yeah, it's just a nice spot. This is nice. Oh, man. <laughs> There's the rest of the team coming. You guys eat lunch on the mountain? Yeah. Well, we made it to High Top Hut and we're up almost on top of High Top. Um, a real nice area. This is one of the best we've seen so far. Little place I just set up. I'm just getting set up now. I put everything away. And we've got some people setting up separate camps. And the main building over there. Ah, uh, first time sitting down now that I got the hammock set up. Take this goofy thing off. But I've really needed this on the hike to just to capture a lot of the sweat from coming down my forehead so it's pretty windy let's see if we get some wind, rain tonight i heard some people saying we had rain coming in um and then after that it's dry but then other people saying there was no rain coming in so i haven't checked the weather and i don't really care if it rains or not um but it is nice right now we got this breeze that my hammock which is damp from the last two nights is finally getting dried out so last night i slept in a damp hammock feeling kind of clammy and uh, tonight I look forward to getting a good night's sleep. And I'm making dinner tonight. Don't know what it is yet. But I'm cooking dinner. We're also going to make a fire. Right on the sides here is the best place to put your heels. In the middle there's... Right here it's pressure on my heels and it hurts. Right there they float just a little bit. But the pain goes away. Just enough, I can relax. Maybe I can get these. That's already dry. That's my new one Tigris underquilt, synthetic. And this is my sleeping bag from almost 30 years now I've had this. The Blue Kazoo, 20 degree sleeping bag. This is a little bit damp. It never got wet, but just got a little bit damp from all the rain. So let's get it dried out for tonight. Well, I, you turn it down, wait for the fuel to burn down. Then you, once it's died down, you turn up a little bit and then it burns regularly. What campsite are we at, guys? High Top Hut. High, High Top, top hut. hut, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's a nice campsite, isn't yes. it? Oh yeah, definitely. It's really good. Cheers, it's awesome. Right here. For sure. It's really nice. If we got apple crisp for dessert, just for everybody, the whole team. So we got the guys with the water. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that's going. Good. Walking down to the spring to get some water. So I don't have to get any in the morning and I looks like we might have some more rain coming in tonight so got rain looks like it's coming up from the south I'll walk down this path to get water All right. it's like I found the water here's our water source I just felt a drop of rain too Pipe down here. And then over here I got my Sawyer 
flow with my Seanock Outdoors three liter bag. So it does three of these, but I gotta fill up all these. So I have to fill the bag twice. So, all right. Nice and easy. That one right there. Oh, damn. Yeah. 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 It never goes away. No matter how old you get, the 10 year old boy lives inside you that wants to make a fire. So we got our fire going well, and it's tough right here. here. Good job. I'm good. Blade and Davis. Got a view coming up. Quick peek. Oh my goodness. Look how awesome this is. I feel like caught a bullet in the neck. Go back. So I love my Come with me. Or wife. Um. Let's go to the sit on the fence. They were pretty close behind us. Can we at least get over here? We're at Swift Run Gap. This is uh, 33. Swift Run Gap, 33. And we're northbound to Front Royal. Dan, it's 2.9 miles, we're in this for 3 miles. Very nice destination. Alright. Um, that's pretty much all the uphill because by then we're heading back down. That's like 2.9 miles. Eating lunch. I believe I got the best pistachios ever. <laughs> Already de-shelled. How's lunch? Good. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. I'm just worried about the water situation. This is all I got left. Let me ask you, do you have Gatorade to put in that? Uh, no. Oh, you know the other drink that they gave you this morning? Check my feet. <laughs> this is how much we want for now. Wow. Wow. Wow, those stairs are cool. Yeah, they are. Stairs are. So high. Down with the bad. You go with your, you go with your bad leg down first. The coast and cabin. We got our water. We got our cabin. Fireplace here. Reserve this. It's locked right now. There is literally no one but us. Bear fence shelter. What? It's nice we can get a fire going tonight too. Yeah. Yeah. It'll stop the flame right now. Yeah. 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 water in the pot. We started in Georgia. Ah, uh, that's a long story. <laughs> yes. Yes is the short answer. For dinner tonight. Uh, lasagna. Lasagna. Sweet. Yeah. It's not, it's not that soupy. It's the good thing. It's good. Those are uh, hokas. Yeah. I started off the trail with a high school classmate of mine. Mm -hmm. He had hokas and it fell apart. I want to do a fancy guitar. It's not going to mess up on it. My butt is on fire. <laughs> you got that on video. There's a good reason for it. <laughs> I've got to go a whole bunch of dead wood. Hello? Good fire. Good morning. Thursday morning. 
We're just doing the final prep to pack out and start hiking again. So today we get to stop at Big Meadows. So today will be a, a good day. We can get a shower. But everybody's pretty much wrapping up things, getting their packs lined up. Davis. We're ready to go. Saying goodbye to Bear Fence Hut. See you later, Bear Fence. <laughs> Just a quick break and we're back on the hike. We're at. No. Uh, something like that. What gap we at, Blade? I don't know. I think he said. I keep forgetting. Everything has a gap and a B and a Bowers and a Bumper. We're going to Mill Millman's Gap. Millman's Gap. Oh, Millum's Gap. We'll do the we'll do the Trailman's Oath right now, and that'll that'll teach us something. So, Jonah, do you want to say with the Trailman's Oath to these guys so they can hear it nice and slowly, oh. nice and loudly and slowly? Queen on our own, do my best to serve God and my country, to respect authority, to be a good student of creation, and to treat others as I want to be treated. So it's like an honor code. So on my honor, I'll do my best. Real easy. To serve God and my country. That's pretty, pretty easy statement right there. Um, to respect authority, to be a good steward of creation. That's what we're doing right now. And to treat others as I want to be treated. That's sort of the principles of, of trail life, and like in a nutshell. I like the trail ones up because it's like a clear statement of what we're about. This is nice. I could just take a nap right here and be good. Matter of fact, I think I will take a nap. See you in a little bit. Nine one one. Musical goes. If emergency, find out how to call nine nine point one. Final climb to Big Meadows. Look at that. Beyond those trees. Okay, we're got a nice view coming up. Theoretically, this mile is going to be pretty much all downhill from here. We've arrived at Big Meadows Campground. Coming down off the trail. Whoa! We're having a party! Uh, wow! Valerie! Yeah. Yeah. Infinite water. Infinite water. Isn't that something? <laughs> Much easier, isn't it? Got my hammock set up for the night and my family's come up to visit me halfway through the park, head through the Shandoah National Park hike and Gunnar's testing it out for me. Yes. What do you think? testing out Daddy's comfy hammock. Is it comfortable? Is it going to work for me tonight? I think so. What? Wow. Who's the shortest person in our group? <laughs> Owen. Owen. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Owen, Mike, are stand back to back. <laughs> Yesterday we went down to see the waterfall at Dark Hollow. So you haven't seen any waterfalls on this hike, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Why that is? Well, they're way down the hill. Mm -hmm. You're, we don't want to see any waterfalls. The AT is a ridge hike. 
So you're on the ridge. And uh, when I did this in 2001, I would ask my then uh, tr troop master, uh, what kind of hike do we have today? And he would always say, undulating. <laughs> It's going to be undulating. Does everybody know what undulating means? Nope. Yeah. Up like and that. down. And, <laughs> so the hike, as you, down, and you may have remembered this, it's got 23,000 feet of up and 24,000 feet of down. Be with us as we walk closer with you. Uh, in your son Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. DJ, Dan, Ashton. Thank you. Well, that was nice, but we're back to the trail. I know. No one wanted to leave there. That's why it's 9 o'clock. <laughs> Everybody thought, this is nice. Let's stay here. So we left Big Meadows, had a wonderful time there, got fed a lot of food, got spoiled, and now we're heading back out to the AT, actually we're on the AT, got about 14 miles to do today. Right now I'm walking along the ridge line. Every now and then you can peek to my left and see fantastic views of the valley, very beautiful. A lot of rocks. Lots of rocks piled in one spot. Pretty neat though. Timber Hollow. Hey. <laughs> Get. Almost time for lunch, they, they I think. Shot, they, they get the beautiful, powerful, dangerous goal. Ice has a power that we can go stronger than one. Stronger than chin. Stronger than one. There's Timber Hollow. We did a blue blaze up this trail here, real steep. Sitting on this rock. Over the parking lot overlook. It's very comfortable. Mom. Watching these, they're falcons over here. <laughs> Gliding on the wind. Here comes the rest of the team. You want me to get a picture for you? Nice one. What a crummy lunchroom, isn't this? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're hiking past somebody's farm. This would be a nice place to live up here. Think, Blade. Is a long ways up? Yes.
a lot better than the others because you're so much higher up. You can see a lot farther north and a lot farther south. It was pretty amazing. See everything down from really high. Looks like we got another good view coming up here. It's honestly just as good. It's not as good, but it's good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Blinding out here. This is a pretty nice stop pub blade. Except it's less windy up here and more sunny. So. Let me climb up on this rock. There we go. Don't fall backwards. Nice view of the sun going down on top of the pinnacle. Oh my gosh, dude, this is painting. We traveled a long ways, didn't we? Remember that pond was on the other side, was to our right? Wind's coming in. We're at the camp. What's this camp called, Blade? Bird's Nest Shelter. Bird's Nest Shelter. Man, we're gonna get walloped, aren't we? The wind probably gonna send a pretty good storm in here. Mm -hmm. You just look like you got more room than I do. I guess because mine's lower to the ground. Mm -hmm. well, I've got one side steep, one side like long. Yeah. I'm gonna play with mine a little bit. Okay. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my soul. This cornerstone is solid ground, firm through the fiercest drugs and storms. With no rain, lots of wind though. So, luckily we picked some good trees with no dead limbs on them. Good healthy trees. That one's dead, but it's leaning in that direction. How'd you sleep, Blade? <laughs> Too well. Too well? <laughs> I woke up to it. <laughs> I didn't sleep well at all. I'm lucky. <laughs> Laid awesome setup there. <laughs> I've already got mine coming down. Plan this morning, pack up, eat some cold breakfast, hit the trail. Business is done. I need a break. You made it, Levi. <laughs> you made it. No kidding. I'm tired. You were busting your butt, weren't you? Uh, I'm, I'm ready to eat. They're, they're closing like right now. Right? What time is it? Is it past five? Yeah, well, my, my watch says five o'clock. They're closed, but we got our orders in. <laughs> this is what I was looking forward to more than food. I do have a blackberry milkshake. I got the end here. A burger. Okay. My feet hurt so bad, I soaked them in my Cedar Summit kitchen sink. They feel so much better. But then I ate too much and a milkshake, and now I'm bloated. I still got a mile to walk up the hill, so I might just have to sleep right here tonight. <laughs> my feet hurt so bad. It was only a 12 mile hike, but I don't know. If I'm gonna do it, something's wrong with my heels. I don't know what it is, what it's called. And then I'm gonna go buy me some super feet and give those a shot. Look at Blade. Blade's already got his stuff set up. 
<laughs> You're fast. Okay, I'll After get there. Tramping down all that stuff. I had to trample down everything. So we're basically sleeping in a jungle this morning because we had to find a place off trail. And it worked out pretty well as long as you stomp down all these weeds. They've got a spot over here. There's slugs everywhere. Blade had slugs in his boots. And I had one of them on my boot. And so now we're going through this morning just making sure that we got not taking slugs home with us. Alright little fellas. Time to get off. Pretty nice back here when you get the weeds busted down. And you gotta get rid of the slugs. Lots of slugs. Yeah, hand on mom. There's they, slugs everywhere. They're just covered in slugs. <laughs> we were flipping the them off. We had lots of slugs too. I'm gonna get some water this morning before we start hiking. This pretty little house you out here can reserve. Well, it's going to be a hot one today. Upper 80s, lots of humidity. And the sun's shining brightly. It's a beautiful morning, but it's going to be really hot for our second to last day. Wow, lots of places to put hammocks up on top of here. We have to remember this for next time. This is a cool spot. Kind of a cool view. Dead tree and then the road and looking out the valley. Okay. Even after nine days or eight days, or as we're working yeah. on nine. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. We're in South Marshall Hill with an overlook right over here. We got a really nice camping spot right here. So we're just going to set our packs down and then go eat our lunch out on the rocks. My gut it calls this the cliffs. Cliffs. This is the first one we've come to at mile marker nine five nine point seven. Could be Compton Peak right there on the small bump. When you're out here, you can judge the moisture of the air yeah. just by how far you can see. Mm -hmm. It's a great place for lunch. Mm -hmm. eating, I'm eating a Slim Jim or something. Slack off this time. Oh, the Cayenne? We just got our water finally. Sequential, it might take a while. Water was not the location we were supposed to be. We thought it would be at, so we had to go a long ways to get water. So now we're on top of the hill getting our water. We've all topped up, and now we're just going to cook dinner here before we move on to camp. You need to stir it on your own a little bit. So crumb. It's home sweet home for the night, right guys? Yep, yeah. this is it. This is it, home sweet home. Mm -hmm. We got Tent City. Pretty cool. Hammock City over there. And there's a bear bag right over there. And there's the other bear bag. It's a little low. You're playing on the AT, right? There's the AT. Hey! Yep. That is so cool. Around me as I speak. 
Let me see your foot. Some nice slug foot. juice. That's a nice foot. Hey, look at this calf. That calf is big. That must be uh, not Barbie. It must be Ken. Yeah, it's gotta be Ken. It's gotta be Ken. That's not what you like. I mean, he's trying this. That is the AT right there. Up and around. Last night, one more hike. It's been an experience. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, they even said it right there. It's well, been it's, an experience. It's proven to a lot of us that we're yeah, that maybe a little bit more self aware. Yeah. We got music over here going on. Yeah. Blade's happy. So, yeah. Blade and Dan's everything outdoors doesn't want to go home, right? <laughs> we could do without the long hikes, though. Yeah. Frank, we know Frank doesn't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Like I'm just going to live up here. Like yeah, yeah. beard. <laughs> and we ask your blessing now as we hit the trail again. All glory to you, Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So long today. Actually, you might not. Yeah, I can pull it up. Hang on. Okay. Let me grab it. We left the park. Yeah, we have. Finally made it. End to end. A few more miles to go. This is an... Guys, very slowly. Good. Like the 115 miles. Woo! Feel like I just I feel like I just took over the whole world. Just a second. Or maybe we walk around the whole time. We walk into a camp and out of the camp. That guy? Down to the spring and back up to the trail. It was at least 125 miles. Yeah. Which way do you want to go now? Do you want to go to Maine? 1,216 miles or go to Georgia, 965. Quick! We have you, we have your Barbie doll leg. We have your leg. Where is it? They're digging it out. We it has to be a Ken doll, right? No, 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 it's a G.I. Joe. A G.I. Joe, Excuse okay. It's an action figure. It's an action. I said it. He's digging it out right now. And stop yelling at me! <laughs> Freaking out! Yeah, yeah. It's very important. He was already missing an arm. He's <laughs> already missing an arm. G.I. Joe. Why does he look too kind? You got an action it's, figure, man. It's, it's going to Katahdin. Yes. So, yeah. I know, I'll send you a picture of it sitting on the top. Alright, alright. Alright, thank y'all. Safe trip. And we're here, we're parking at 522. We completed it. That's it, get your water bottle. That's heck? Everybody's here. Ta-da! Victory is yours. Yay!